Here's a quick little tour of where we're staying uh, for the Sueno Dunes Classic and the Sueno Pines Classic. The hotel is uh, back down that walkway behind that circular looking hotel. And here's the beach. Um, it looks, I guess we're in uh, January here, so it's, it's kind of dead. Uh, there's not a lot going on, although I could be wearing uh, shorts and t-shirt today. I could probably get in the water. Um, and back in the distance there, I don't know if you can see them, but there's some snow top mountains. And here is the Mediterranean. Not a whole lot in the way of waves. Um, it's kind of mostly landlocked, so it's pretty calm, but it kind of looks like the ocean is really vast. And this beach is, uh, I gotta figure it's pretty crowded in the summer, but right now it's just dead. There's like all this tourist looking stuff that's like, just looks abandoned pretty much. And the beach is like a brown sand beach and there's uh, a little bit of trash and rocks and sea debris on here, but uh, overall it's pretty nice now. Some of the uh, sports facilities they have at the resort. Um, here's the basketball courts. I kind of like this wider lane in the international stuff instead of in the U.S. because it gives uh, more people a chance to uh, rebound other than the guys just right under the basket. But anyway. <laughs> uh, then there's the football fields over there, soccer. Um, there's a couple, uh, they're not practicing right now, but there's a, a couple of football teams here with us. So it's kind of like a lot of uh, athletes running around the resort. There's uh, us golfers. 90 of us golfers and then uh, a few football teams and then over here is looking back towards the range most of the guys are out on the course right now but um, there's a few guys on the chipping green and putting green and these guys here are just uh, on the range doing what they do There's the driving range over. This is the view out of my room. There's the driving range and uh, chipping green and bunkers over there. And some of the hotels. And I don't know if you can see through there beyond those buildings or not. I can see it with the naked eye, but the Mediterranean Sea is right, sea is right over there. And then down over to the right is the putting green. And then back up there is the first team for the Pines course. Here's a look back at the hotel from uh, up on the first tee of the Pines course. There's the putting green. There's where we're staying in the hotel. Uh, the driving range is over to the right there. You can't really see it. And then over there... Uh, there's some nice snow-covered mountains again in the background, the water. It's really a pretty, uh, pretty place. And then over here, if we can see it through here, is the first tee of the Pines course. It's pretty tight coming out of here. They actually just trimmed a tree because last year, uh, Previously, the, this back box wasn't played because of the overhanging trees, but they trimmed just enough to have a shoot outside there. But guys still end up hitting a lot of hybrids here because uh, just off to the right, if you just miss a little bit right, some of those mounds kick to the right. There's a water hazard there that's reachable. And then to the left side of those trees, if you hook it a little bit, so it, it's a, uh, there's some bunkers. So on this hole, a lot of guys just hit hybrid, hybrid, and then an iron into the green. and it, it's kind of pointless to hit driver here because it's really not reachable even by the longer hitters. Here's the number 10 tee on the Pines course and it's pretty tight coming out of there but fortunately these trees are pretty short so as long as you don't hit a low drive you can kind of uh, hit your drive over this. A lot of guys still play three wood off here. Uh, it's about 400 yards or so. Uh, dug leg left. Good hole. Here is the dunes course uh, at the first tee. It's a par 69 and only 5,600 meters, but that's a little bit deceiving because there's only uh, three 
or there, I'm sorry, there's only one par five. So that's why there's three, three less shots on par. And you know, if you take off at 150, 100 meters, 150 meters or so, you get up to about 6,000 if you were to put the, the uh, uh, par fives in. Uh, but still, it's a little bit shorter course, so it does play a little bit easier. But it is still tricky, and you'll still see some you'll see some low scores here, but you'll also see some high scores too. Because if you don't pay attention, it's kind of a strategy course, a placement course, um, and if you don't if you don't pay attention, you can still make some big numbers. So um, this is the first uh, tee here. Uh, it's actually a pretty easy shot. Um, behind the beyond these trees there it opens up a lot. It's a dog leg left. If you miss right it's just gonna be a longer shot into the green. And if you can draw it or, or hook it a little bit, then you can have just a little flip wedge into the green. So this is this is a pretty pretty easy start. It's a good birdie chance. Um, it's a, yeah it's an easy way to start. And then from the first tee walk across there over to the tenth tee behind the trees there. Here's the uh, number ten tee on dunes. We jokingly call this course the dune because uh, you might think that there's a lot of dunes out here, but we've only found one, so we we call it the dune instead of the dunes. Uh, but this shot is pretty brutal. Um, this is one of the tightest tee shots I've ever. This has to be one of the top five tightest tee shots I've ever come across. And you have to carry over water. And if you don't know, a lot of times in pro tournaments, some guys start from the first tee and some guys start from the 10th tee. There'll usually be like a morning uh, flight and then an afternoon flight to kind of get all the guys in and to expedite the, the process, I guess, of getting everyone through. But uh, so some guys <clears throat> will be out here 7 30, 8 in the morning. And their first tee shot is uh, going to be through this tight little uh, corridor, and they have to carry over water. And if you go long, you're in the trees. Um, so it's uh, there's a lot of double bogeys here. Um, so it's it's a real real tester. Uh, and this is one of the things I was talking about with this course. It's it's shorter, but it's it's uh, you have to play really smart and you have to pay attention. And in this particular case, you have to hit a really, really good tee shot. Really, you have to start it off just right. Um, oh, another thing about this is we're at sea level here too. So, uh, you know, again, it's it is a short course, but there's a number of factors here that make it a little bit more difficult than it's you might it might seem off the card. And then while we're here, this is the uh, 17th tee, and it is a. I think a 230 meter, about 253 yards, yard uh, par three, and you know this again is uh, one of the times where you have to really pay attention. Um, for most guys, it's a three wood here. Uh, a couple of longer hitters might hit hybrid, um, and some of the shorter guys might have to hit driver here, and you know it just depends on how the wind is too. Uh, but you got to carry over a bunker, and then there's a greenside bunker there. It's just a really tough. Uh, tough way to come in uh, on the 17th hole here, but it's a it's a really good another really good testing hole. And like many other rear uh, resorts and hotels, they have a, uh, a little uh, spa and wellness center. Then there. there's a there's a sauna and a, a steam room, uh, some uh, uh, co-ed showers. Uh, there's a, a small gym in there. It's a, a little fitness center, I guess. They have a few cardio machines and a few basic weight machines. But it's nice. Uh, they also have a pool in there. And then uh, they also have some things for recreational use down here. Table tennis, ping pong, billiards. And here we are in the lobby. There's a uh, dinner area where we eat uh, breakfast and uh, dinner. We have a, a, a buffet in the morning and buffet at night. Uh, out there is the golf course, the lobby. Um, this lobby really packs up in the evening. Uh, a lot of guys end up getting on their laptop after dinner. Uh, the pro shop is down through there. And uh, there's a bar. There's also a bar that's open 24 hours right around the corner here. 